<laughs> nothing did happen. <laughs> Great to have Great you. Great to be with you once uh, again. Once again, I'm also pleased to have you back on my show. And Ghanaians are thank wait, you, Dennis, Ghanaians thank are you. warmly waiting to 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 have you on my show this morning. I I, I just received about yeah, yeah. I just received about three to four calls. Dennis, are you going to talk to Kenny? When are you going to talk to Kenny? I yeah. Said, and and I said I would, I would talk to Kenny. <laughs> yes, Kenny is here. Let's talk. <laughs> <laughs> Kenny is here. Uh, we have uh, Kenny yes. alive from Nigeria, a uh, Nigerian journalist. Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah, Juma with so Fresh FM. Uh, we're joining here. Yeah. Kenny, first of yes. all, uh, how is how is Nigeria and the people around? How is Nigeria <laughs> and the people around? <laughs> uh, Nigeria is fine. We thank God. Uh, um, it's a very sunny afternoon here from Lagos, Nigeria. Uh, everybody's looking fine. Yes. Um, we are trying to move on from the disappointment of the World Cup of non-qualification. But it's a beautiful day in Nigeria. We are excited for the gift of life. That is the most important thing in life. If you can sleep and wake up the next morning, that is the best gift you, God can give any humanity. We are glad to be alive this morning, this afternoon, rather. All right. Uh, this is Kenny. Uh, Kenny is live on uh, so 95.9 FM. Kenny, straight up. Uh, let's go into the, okay. the, the particular uh, game. Uh, talk of the first leg. Okay. How would you assess the, okay. the, the Super Eagles of Nigeria and the Black Stars in the first leg? With, with regards to performance? Uh, well, first off, uh, let me... The last time I spoke on this program, uh, Dennis, if you remember very well, I said, let the best team qualify for the World Cup. You remember I said that? If Ghana is better over the two legs, let Ghana go and qualify and represent Africa. If Nigeria is going to be better over the two legs, let's go to the World Cup and represent Africa. My major concern is to have a good representation. And don't forget I mentioned on your program the last time I was on this show that let the best team from either Nigeria or Ghana let the best team out of these two countries represent Africa. So it is obvious over the two legs, Dennis, that Ghanaians, Black Stars were better than Nigeria over the two legs. And of course, they deserve a place at the FIFA World Cup at the expense of Nigeria. Now, starting from the first leg in Kumasi, a couple of days ago. Yes, how did Nigeria feel? I think that was when we lost the game. She said, I need to be very frank with you. Uh, we lost this ticket in Kumasi, not the one one draw we had in Lagos. Uh, we had in Abuja, beg your pardon. If we had won the game in Kumasi, of which we had every chance to win the game in Kumasi, if we had won the game in Kumasi, the second leg would have just been a mere formality. So I think we lost the tickets, not from the result in Nigeria, but before we failed to convert our chances in the first leg in Kumasi, that was the price we paid. When that game ended goalless in Kumasi, I told my people who were in Nigeria that we were walking on a very tight rope. That goalless draw was a very, very bad result for Nigeria. I would have preferred 1-1. One, one. I would have preferred 2-2. Two, two. I, I would have preferred losing by one goal to nil in the first leg. But playing goalless draw in um, Kumasi, I knew it was a whole lot of problem for us. And I was not surprised that Ghana came to Nigeria and they scored first. I knew that if Ghana scored us first, we were we are going to be in trouble. And of course, we were in trouble when Ghana came to Nigeria and scored a field courtesy of Thomas party. So I think the first leg was where Nigeria lost the ticket and we paid the price at the end of the second leg in Nigeria. All right, Kenny, uh, moving forward, how would you assess some specific players like Francis, uh, Zohu, Victor, see him and the likes? Were they up to the tax? Well, um, you know, I was bragging when I was on your show before the qualifier, that, before that, the playoffs. That is why Ghanians, that that is why Ghanians you know, want to talk to you today. Uh, <laughs> Ghanians want to hear you today. Uh, let, let me talk. Hey, hey, let me say this. Let me say this, Dennis. This will not change my mind about what I said earlier. Individual players, we have better players than Ghana. Individually. When we talk about quality, talented footballer. In terms of quality of footballers, individual players, we are blessed. We are better than Ghana individually. The only edge, the only reason why Ghana edges in this qualifying race is because your team was more, com was, was more compact together and you have a better coach compared to ours. Individually, your players are not better than our players. I will remain on that fact. Individually, your players are not better than ours. Salt, so uh, it doesn't change the, the fact that you've qualified does not mean uh, in terms of individual players you're better than us. You're not. 
but collectively playing together as a team, I think Ghana uh, did so well compared to Nigeria. Um, your coach, I must give thumbs up to the coach, Otto Hado. He showed a tactical masterclass that a coach has no answer to. And that was the reason why your team was able to play tactically better. That, that was the reason why your team was better than us tactically. And you played more of a team as a team compared to Nigeria. So, uh, Dennis, I'm not going, I'm not, I'm, I'm not, I'm not withdrawing the statement I made that we have better players or we have better players than Ghana. Individually, we have better players than you. Starting from the goalkeepers, compare us together. From the goalkeeper to the defenders, to the midfield, to the attackers, we were better individually. But unfortunately for us, you know, your team was better together as a team. And that was why you guys were able to get a ticket. You didn't beat Nigeria. We played zero and we played one one in Nigeria. If not for the for the away goal rule, it would have ended in penalty shootouts. Look at what UEFA has done in the Champions League. There is no away goal rule again in the UEFA Champions League because they know that sometimes the best team may not qualify because of the away goal rule. That was why the away goal rule was scrapped in UEFA competitions. So Ghana qualified not because not because of anything, but because of the away goal rule. You didn't defeat us, we didn't defeat you. We played goalless in Ghana, we played one one in Nigeria. That was draw. You didn't beat us. We didn't beat you as well. Because of the away goal rule, very unfortunate the away goal rule was against us. And you guys had a better chance. Just like I said, I will not take anything away from Ghana qualification. Over the two legs, they were better in terms of tactics. You knew what you wanted, and you went for it. And uh, our coach was not just in the same class with Otto Hado. And don't forget, it's a major reason why all the technical crew of Nigeria have been fired. Those guys are not tactically sound, and that's the reason why we lost the ticket to Ghana. Kenny, they've been fired or they've resigned? They've been all of them. All of them. 25.9. They've I stepped down, I resigned. This all the stand on the top bench, all the coach they've been fired. So at the this right now, we do not have any coach at the national team level. All of them have been fired because they felt the nation when we Hello Kenny needed the leader. Hello, Kenny. Hello. Danny, come here. Yes, Dennis, I can hear you. All right, I was I was asking. There were some high okay. rated players, highly rated players in your setup. Talk of Victor Osihi, yes. Ademola Lukman, yes. uh, King Kimo yes. Amu, uh, a lot of players. Yeah. Are you disappointed in these particular yeah. players because they, 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 they were not uh, able to qualify the, the Super Eagles and the Nigeria uh, national team to World Cup? Yes, I was disappointed in them. Cecilia must admit. Um, they didn't reciprocate their performance at the club level, they didn't bring that to the national team of Nigeria. See, before the two games, before the two games, I said, choose the team of this game against Ghana. It's not because we are better individually. It's not because we have our big stars playing in the big leagues. I told my people here in Nigeria that two things would determine who we get a ticket between Nigeria and Ghana. Number one is tactics. Number two is the player's determination. Number one, tactics. Number two, players determination tactically you were better than us and talking about players determination the Ghanaians were hungry the Ghanaian players showed over two legs that they needed that they were hungry to qualify for local oh, Ghana was not at the last World Cup tournament in uh, Russia Nigeria was there Ghana had a disappointing AFCON and you could see the way the boys responded you could see the way the black stars responded the new the World Cup ticket so, to Ghanaians. Talking about players' yeah. determination. Look at how Felix Afena Guyan, the guy that made his debut from Roma. Look at how you played. Look at Amati of Leicester City. Look at Thomas Party that scored the first goal in Abuja. Look at players' determination. So I think uh, your players were more determined than ours. Our players were uh, they, they were not hungry as um, the Ghanaians black stars were hungry for this World Cup ticket and we paid the price. So I can tell you, Dennis, that I am disappointed in the attitude of some of our players, only Victor Sime and let me say maybe uh, Leon Balogo, only two of them showed hunger in the games we played against Ghana. Look at how Sime was playing compared to how others played. Look at how Imane Dennis was working on the beach before it was substituted. There was no hunger in them. They were.
Yeah, yes, sir. Uh, uh, Clean that seed, they've got it for the world. Forgotten the end of the world. That's the end of the world. They've found it. So I think, I think. You need free to not sound funny. Are you there? Uh, yeah, 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 so I, I was telling you about the fact that our boys were not, they didn't show enough determination to fight for the World Cup tickets, which the Ghanaians did, which uh, the Black Stars did. And it was the reason why over the two legs, the best team over the two legs won the tickets. So it is safe to say that I am disappointed in the attitude of some of our players. They let down the country. They let us down with our approach to the game. Salt 95.9. Uh, Kenny, after the uh, third game at M Musha Biola Stadium, we saw some unfortunate incidents, fans invading the pitch and that stuff. What's actually yes. attributed to that thing uh, after the game? It, it, it's, it's a very sad one. Very, very sad one. Uh, thank God the investigation has already started uh, to find out what actually caused that and how to bring those people respond for that, how to bring them to box. Now, let me tell you, that stadium that Ghanaian played on, the MK Wabiola Stadium in Abuja that you played, you guys played on, that stadium has been neglected for many years. Neglected for many years. Aliko Dangote, one of the richest men in Africa, decided to renovate that stadium for $1 billion. It was after the renovation of the stadium for $1 billion that the stadium was good enough to host an international a game like the game against Nigeria. The game, Nigeria versus Ghana, was the first major game that was played on that pitch after the renovation. A lot of money was spent on that stadium that has been neglected for 17 years. What happened was, and I saw, it's a lot of embarrassment to Nigeria. It, it, it was totally uncalled for. And I think the people that were responsible for that uh, ugly outing, ugly show, must definitely be dealt with. We regret it, we've condemned it. That is not Nigeria for you. Those people that came to the pitch and caused problems on the pitch, trust me, they are hooligans. Trust me, they are not football fans. They are hooligans that took advantage of the fact that we wanted to pack the stadium to capacity and they decided to do those, those things at the end of that game. It's very unfortunate, very, very unfortunate here in Nigeria. Uh, we heard of uh, the death of one calf official. What happened? Yes. Yes, a very unfortunate. Uh, Dr. Kabongo uh, is a Zambian doctor, a uh, calf official. Uh, he was in Abuja for the game as the so doping control officer uh, at the end of the game. Uh, uh, let me quickly say this, uh, Dennis. The doctor did not die because of the violence at the end of that game. That, that, is, that, is, that, that is the information we are having it, it here in not, Ghana. We heard that it, it's because of the supporters. That, it is not. It, it did not die because of any any trouble, because of any violence. It died because of cardiac arrest. The, yesterday, NFF Medical Committee came out with a press release. They told us how he died. At the end of Dennis, Dennis, let me explain how he died. Explain everything at to the end of the game. Let me let me let me explain to you. At the end of that game, being in charge of the anti doping anti doping uh, test. He wanted to call on Ghanaian players, maybe one or two select players, uh, to come and be tested for doping at the end of the game. It's a normal practice in every football game. Yes. You do random, um, you do random tests for players. So he was on the verge of doing that. He wanted to go to the dressing room of Ghana Black Stars to call two players for the test. One of the Nigerian players that have been called upon were coming from the dressing room of Nigeria. Unfortunately, when he was about to come into the dressing room, it didn't happen. It didn't, it, didn't, it didn't slump and die on the pitch. It happened inside the dressing room, on his way to the dressing room, not on the pitch. Okay. The incident, the, the, violence, the violence was on the pitch. The Zambia doctor did not die on the pitch. He did not slump on the pitch. So he slumped, and before they could get into the hospital, uh, unfortunately, he died. The doctor confirmed he has died because of cardiac arrest. But let me say this. Uh, officially, CAF has not said anything about this. Um, we are waiting for proper investigation into this. And um, hopefully, I hope, I am hoping that definitely this man would die, died of cardiac arrest. 
may God rest his soul. And um, uh, very unfortunate for African football, very unfortunate for Nigeria, very unfortunate for Zambia. One of the best doctors in African football lost his life due to cardiac arrest. He did. Let me say this emphatically. Because of 5.9 FM. The report I read yesterday from the NFF, Dr. Kabongo did not die because of the violence in Nigeria. Kenny, have you heard of any FIFA sanctions with, with regards to what happened uh, on Tuesday after the game? FIFA has not said anything. Everything you read the line are fake. Everything you are reading concerning the ban on the stadium, they are fake news. You can go on FIFA websites, you can go on their social media platforms, there, you can never see anywhere that FIFA has announced any sanction on the stadium. I know it will come if we are guilty, of which I know we are guilty. See, in the game of football, it is the responsibility of the Federation to make sure that lives and properties are secured. I've, even after the game, even after games, unfortunately, we cannot control the violence. Unfortunately, we cannot control the crowd at the end of the game. Um, which I think it is not good enough for our football. FIFA will investigate. But as I can tell you authoritatively, Dennis, FIFA has not said anything about that violence. I'm very sure in the next couple of days or weeks, FIFA will come out with their decision. But for now, everything on the social media concerning the sanction or the ban on the Abuja Stadium is a fake news. Ignore it until we hear from FIFA directly. Okay, uh, Kenneth Sampson from Nigeria uh, works with Free FM in uh, Lagos. Uh, Kenny, uh, let's go back to the, yeah. the, the said game after, uh, after, after the game. I think on Tuesday, everybody's heart broken in Abuja, in Lagos, and everywhere. And e what, what? Everywhere. Everywhere. What is the day-to-day -day language in Abuja, in Lagos, and everywhere after the, after the said game on Tuesday? Uh, that is, it, it, it's, a, it's also a very terrible moment for Nigerian football fans. Uh, it was it was it was one of those reasons why you saw how the fans reacted with the violence at the so end of the game. Nigerians were disappointed. We had seventy thousand people at that stadium that night. Seventy thousand people, and we have millions that were watching the game on the television set across Nigeria. It was a very disappointing night for us. So today, all of us are still talking about these results. And thank God, one of the things we wanted has been done. The technical crew should go. They should be make. They should be the scapegoat. That's the first thing, and it has happened today. Also, the government should go, and he has left his position. That's the first thing all of us are talking about. Because, like I told you, we we have the players that can beat Ghana home and away. We have the individual players that should have defeated Ghana home and away. So the fact that. We did not qualify for the World Cup. That was not good enough, and it needs to go. And he has gone right now. So, so now it's still a lot of disappointment. Just like I told you this morning, I already, I, I was already making plans to go to Qatar World Cup. Three years ago, I was in Doha, Qatar. Three years ago, when I was going to Russia, I was in Doha, Qatar for a couple of days before I traveled to Russia for the World Cup. When I was in Doha three, three years ago, I was taken to the venue to the venues of the World Cup stadium. I was taken to the venues three years ago. I saw what Qatar it was doing to make sure they have a successful World Cup in 2022. Three years ago, I made up my mind that no matter what it takes, I must come to Qatar for the World Cup. And look at what it is now. Look at what is happening now. You, we you, feel to qualify. You, Kenny. It, it, it is very unfortunate. Very unfortunate <laughs> for me. Very unfortunate. Kenny. Bad business. Bad business for me as well. <laughs> Kenny, you did you did the inspection for me because I'll go. <laughs> I want you to be very best. I want you to be very best. Yeah, no, you have to wish. I'll, I'll come as a yeah, you, I'll, you I'll have come to as a fan. Come, come as a fan. Come, come as, as a fan. Not as a journalist. <laughs> 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 Kenny is coming to Qatar as a fan. Not not as, as a, a fan, journalist. Not as, yeah, not, not as, as a journalist. journalist. Hope, hope to see you in Qatar. <laughs> I will, by the grace of God, I will be there. All right. As a fan. If, if I see you, I may not greet you. I'm coming <laughs> as a fan. <laughs> oh, that is how God works. Kenny, it looks like you guys were yes, overconfident. Yes. Because even after the game, yes, I, I heard, I saw some interviews, uh, some of your fans, come on Ghana. You're still talking about come on Ghana. Come on Ghana just called you and you were not able to qualify for Qatar. <laughs> You're still saying come on Ghana. Why, are you, why were you overconfident like that? We were overconfident 
time because we felt we could beat you home and away. Individual players, player to player, you are not better than her. You are not better than us. That's why you see most people were hungry. We see. I told you earlier, Dennis. First leg in command, if our players showed enough commitment, if our technical crew was sound enough, we could have defeated Ghana in Kumasi in the first leg. That was what God Nigeria is talking. This is not the best of the Ghanaian over the years. This is not the best ever Black Stars team. Your team is not good enough. Your team is not is your team is not excellent enough. I would have pre preferred losing to Saint. I preferred losing to Egypt. I would have preferred losing to uh, a, 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 a much more better uh, squad in African football. This present Ghana, this present Ghanaian team, is not the best that could have knocked Nigeria out of the World Cup race. It's not as if you were too spectacular. You were not too spectacular in the two games. Kenny, you could not defeat Nigeria. Kenny, you didn't beat us. Kenny, so you've still not accepted Kenny. defeat. It is it is difficult to accept defeat because it why is, is it, why is it di difficult because we've qualified you got, you got ticket you got ticket culture of the way go rule you did not defeat <laughs> us <laughs> it was a, you guys should thank away go rule so, you did not defeat but, us but, but it is also part it's, of the rules it is I know that's what I'm talking about that you guys should thank the away go rule if for the rules. Maybe, maybe VR penalty shootouts. You, you guys, you also, you, you guys, you also thought, thank oh, VR. That what? You should we thank, scored in, you, we scored in Lake, we scored in Abuja, we scored in Abuja, we scored in Abuja. Uh, go for a mom and come boy. Uh, and you may pay it. Hello, Kenny. We scored. We scored in Abuja. Okay. Dennis, we scored in Abuja. VAR cancelled it. So we should give thanks we to VAR. We should have been given a penalty. We should have. We should have been given a penalty in Kumasi. VAR did not give us. It was a penalty in Kumasi. Okay, Kenny. The referee did, Kenny. The VAR did not give us. Kenny, how would you assess the said referee on that day? Who? How would you assess the referee who took charge of the second leg? Fantastic referee. Fantastic uh, referee, yeah. referee. Fantastic. He was very oh, fantastic. Yes, fantastic referee. Fantastic referee. I don't have anything against him. Offici so, officiating was very, very perfect. Excellent office. Officiating was No, no, no. I will not complain against officiating. I will not complain against officiating. I've told you why you beat us. I've told you why you got the ticket ahead of Nigeria. Your players were Can more determined Can than Ghani ours. Ghanians were and, not. And your coach and your coach and your coach was a, was better tactically than Austin the Gov. Otto Ardo was was fantastic in terms of tactics okay. compared to Austin the Gov. Okay. Kenny, how do you see the chances of the Black Stars in Qatar 2022? Oh well first of all let me say congratulations to Ghanians. Um it's a well deserved ticket like I told you over the two legs Despite the fact that you guys didn't beat us, but you were the better team over the two legs. Uh, congratulations to this. I know what it means to Ghana football. You missed out at the last World Cup. Um, you didn't do well at the African Cup of Nations. Uh, having a new set of technical crew that needed to win the ticket, they got a ticket for you. I know it's a lot. It, it, it means a lot to Ghana football by qualifying for the World Cup. I know for sure, Dennis, I know for sure, I'm saying this to all Ghanaians. Ghana cannot win the World Cup. I know that for sure. Ghana cannot win the World Cup. No, that is not our target. You cannot win the World Cup. And that, the that is, is, that and is the not our target. <laughs> our target is to, uh, is to defeat you guys. That, that is, let me say this to you. Ghana is going to the World Cup to make up the numbers, get their money from the World Cup, from FIFA. At least 10, uh, at least $12.5 million is guaranteed because you guys have qualified. Kenny, you it, have $12.5 Kenny, million. Same, dollars. Kenny, the same thing applies to Nigeria. If you, you guys were able to qualify, you are also going to add up to the numbers. Oh, of course, I know that. That's what I'm telling you. Yeah. African countries are going to the World Cup to make up the numbers. We cannot win the World Cup yet. So Ghana cannot win the World Cup. The best thing I think Ghana can do is to surpass the record they had in 2010, quarterfinal. 2010 in South Africa, Ghana almost made it, almost made it to the semi-final. If not for the handball of Luis Suarez against Uruguay, you guys almost made it to the semi-final. I think that should be the best thing 
for Ghana to do in Qatar. Surpassed the quarterfinal appearance. But let me quickly say this. With this team that played against Nigeria, if you're going to the World Cup with this team that played against Nigeria in the playoffs, you cannot go beyond the group stage. I am telling you, your team is not spectacular to do any wonders <laughs> at the World Cup. If you're going to World Cup with this team, you cannot go beyond the group stage. I but, I trust, but I trust not to handle I trust our technical crew is going to do a lot more. This thing will be better before the World Cup. I know that. Kenny, thank you very much for your time this special Thursday afternoon. The way forward uh, for the Super Greeny Girls of Nigeria before you leave us on the show. The way forward, number one, we've done it. We've fired our coaches. They need to go. They are gone. The AFCON, they, don't forget the AFCON next year uh, in, in Ivory Coast is around the corner. Yeah. We have about 14 months, 14 months to the next AFCON. The qualifier will start in June. So right now, between now and um, June, we must get a new set of coaches, new set of coaches that will be in charge of Eagles. And I hope our NFF will give us a fantastic coach. I don't care if it's a local coach or foreign coach. A good coach that can bring the best of our team. We have the best young team in African football for now. We want a coach that can bring the best out of this team and make us to be the super egos that we used to know. Preparation for the AFCON will start very soon for us. And hopefully, Dennis, hopefully we are going to meet Ghana again next day at AFCON. That time we go set to our scores. Don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> we go meet again for next we go AFCON. Meet, oh, we go, oh, I'm very, I'm we very, go, very sad. I'm very sad I will not meet my brother from another mother at, at the World Cup. <laughs> at the World Cup. The top, the top most worry. level. <laughs> 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 Kenny, thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you. I hope to connect you. Happy to be with yeah, you. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm so glad to talk no, to you no anytime. My, my listeners are also uh, very glad well, to lastly, hear. Uh -huh. Congratulations to Ghana. Congratulations to Ghana. Yes, you enjoy yourself and have good work. I wish you all the very best, Qatar. Go and make Africa proud. Thank you very much, Kenny uh, Samson. Thank you. All right, uh, Tutu men come obo ama bo ne be ti ma du nu entem no bo ne to fama me na ye ti nkomo ni ye di ye no and the all can we do baby ya team no say ya sesem ni ya nyiri ma nya de say group stage is great me advance ye ti se ma ke ni ye ya si ya one kenya bo nkomo be bre na eh ne to fa bo mu ne say o sha say the first leg no say nigeria for